Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Chinedu Ernest. So, um, there's this issue that I've had for a long time and I would like to share with you because I think I have a solution. So, um, when I had this issue, I went to Google, I tried to check to see if um, there are other engineers that may have encountered the same issue and uh, to see how I can gain from their experience. Um, all to no avail. I found nothing useful to work with. Now, what's the issue? The issue is concerning the sensor. This is the ultrasonic sensor. This is the ACRS04. And this is another one. This is the waterproof ultrasonic sensor, which you all know. And um, that issue is I intend to use the sensor to monitor the level of fluid in a tank. Probably diesel or water, right? Level of fluid in a tank. And the cover of the tank tends to be close to the edges of the tank. So the issue I have is concerning the beam, um, the beam angle that comes to the sensor. So the beam angle for this sensor is around 20 degree, right? That means that if I have the sensor positioned this way, the, the, the beam coming out of the sensor is going to strike this wall and then tends to do what? Reflect back, echo back to the receiver. And um, so doing, I'm going to get an error. So the issue is we are dealing with a wave, right? That was the first thing that gave me a clue to getting uh, a solution. But if I'm dealing with a wave and I have the beam coming out, and of course, the further the beam travels, the bigger the beam width, right? The bigger the beam width. So I thought of it that, okay, in physics, we all thought damping, right? Damping. We all thought how to suppress echo. How do we reduce echo in a room and all of that? And the first thing that came to my head was using a foam. Using a foam. So I thought of it that if I can make a linear pipe at the transmitter end of the sensor, and then to do the foam around the pipe. It's going to go a long way to do what? Reduce the beam angle. Um, let me show you the sensor. This is exactly what I made. I had this ultrasonic sensor and I had, um, I, I made a foam. This is a foam, you can see the foam. I made a foam around the sensor and then Stick it to the cover of the tank. That's the cover of the tank. In so doing, my wave was able to travel further. And not just I traveled further, the beam width reduced drastically because I introduced the foam. So all the foam did is to do what? Suppress the surrounding beams that tend to reflect from the body of the tank. So when I tried this, it worked well. In fact, I'm going to demonstrate this using this rubber here right now. Um, to demonstrate, I'm going to use I'm going to use the one without the foam to do my demonstration. So this one has no foam on it. So let's use it. So I'll plug it on the sensor. I'm using the waterproof sensor. Don't forget that. The sensor is very good for outdoor use. That's why I am using it. So, this is the cover of my experimental tank, right? So, I have this. Right now, the sensor is inside. And then... Um, so I'm going to keep this aside and keep this aside. So this is what I have, simple circuit. That's my Arduino, my sensor, and that's the sensor here. So I'm going to power it.
So I upload this code. That's the code, the code I'm using, which I'm going to share in the link below. So I open it. So currently, you can see the value the sensor is giving me 18 cm constantly. Even when I try to empty the tank, it's still giving me 18 cm. It's not changing. Can you see that? So let me try to empty the tank. It's still not changing. It's giving me a constant data of 18. You can see how I'm emptying the tank here. You can see that. So the water level is going down. It's going down. But what I have is still 18 cm, right? 18 cm. So I'm going to show you how I was able to correct this. We all know that the minimum distance this sensor can measure is 18. So you're just seeing 18 constantly. So let's, uh, I'm going to plug my Arduino and then change the sensor to the one with the foam that I talked about. Let's see if this sensor now works in this struggle. I'm going to using that this is what I'm now using okay so I'm gonna plug it in sensor and then plug my you know back in Let's see what our data will be like. Okay, so I'm gonna close this, open it again. So we have 18, right? We have 18. So I'm gonna start emptying the pack. So I expect um, the value to start increasing. So, you can see the value is increasing, and um, currently we have 25, I see, oh, 24, 24, 25 now, still going down, it's increasing, it's still increasing, can you see that? So, my hand is shaking, that's why we're having some regular data. So now, you can see that. With the use of this foam, this sensor can still be used even in a closed container like this. So I believe this will be helpful to one or two other persons out there. And um, I expect some other person to do better than I've done and also share, share with us. Thank you.